A poor, hungry little girl was just trying to find something to eat when, on Christmas Eve, she found something that drastically changed her life. Her photo in a millionaire's lost wallet. On that cold, silent Christmas Eve night, Thalia, a little 12-year-old girl, was walking through the desolate streets of the city. Her worn-out clothes were barely enough to protect her from the biting cold, and her matted hair was a reflection of her life on the streets. The poor girl's stomach rumbled with hunger. She hadn't had a proper meal in days. Her steps were slow and tired, but there was still a certain hope shining in her little eyes. As she walked along the streets, Talia passed houses lit up with Christmas decorations, where whole families were celebrating the holiday with laughter and warm conversation. The children's voices filled the air, and the girl imagined what it would be like to be among them, enjoying a tree full of Christmas lights and presents, and a table full of delicious meals. Her thoughts were like a temporary refuge from the harsh reality in which she lived. The little girl rummaged through the garbage in search of any crumbs that might satisfy her hunger, but all she found were the remains of wilted snacks and rotten fruit. None of it was enough to fill her empty stomach. Downtown, Thalia passed the Christmas trees lit up with twinkling lights. For a brief moment, she lost herself in that magical sight, forgetting the bitterness of her own life. However, reality soon returned when she saw some children with their parents taking photos and enjoying Christmas Eve. The little girl just wanted to belong to a family and experience the joy of Christmas. Her sadness deepened, poor little girl. As she walked, the little girl passed restaurants and establishments that were still open, where people were celebrating with plenty of food and laughter. She wondered if she would ever have the chance to experience that joy when she grew up. And so, lost in her own thoughts and dreams, the girl continued to wander the streets until, without realizing it, she arrived in a wealthier neighborhood where the mansions were adorned with the most dazzling Christmas decorations that the girl had ever seen in her entire short life. Silence prevailed since it was late at night, close to dinner. The aroma of delicious dishes hung in the air, and Thalia could hear distant Christmas music softly, as well as the sound of adults chatting animatedly in the distance. Then the little girl had an idea. In front of the luxurious mansions, she approached the garbage cans, believing that maybe she could find something tasty. Thalia thought to herself, What is garbage to them can be luxury to me. Determined, she began to rummage through the garbage and was surprised to find an abundance of delicious food. Her heart filled with joy when she found a piece of turkey, leftover cake and pies and other delicacies she had never imagined she would taste. My God, there's so much. The little girl was amazed, her eyes shining with excitement. She almost cried with gratitude because that moment, although unlikely, was like her own special Christmas. However, the girl had no idea that fate had something even more incredible in store for her. While rummaging through the garbage cans, she ended up finding something that would change her life forever. A wallet. Thalia put the wallet aside because at that moment her hunger was the priority. She couldn't believe how much food rich people wasted and she wondered with her mouth full. Why didn't I ever come here to look for food? Wow, I could eat here every day. She thought as he munched on some leftover cake he found. The little girl has had an incredibly difficult life. For as long as she could remember, she was born and raised on the streets. She had no parents and didn't know what had happened to them. She was taken in by a group of homeless people who looked after her like a family. However, over time, the members of this group began to drift apart, each in search of safer places to live. This process of searching for more suitable locations was known as hunting but it was dangerous as it often involved confrontations with gangs or other homeless people already established in the area. Many of the group's members did not return. The little girl was the only child in the group and they were very protective of her. One day, one of the homeless people who had gone out hunting came running back, being chased by a gang he had gotten into trouble with. Everyone in the group scattered in a hurry, fleeing in different directions for fear of being attacked. Thalia was told to run and not to look back, but obviously the girl saw everything and stayed put. The gang arrived, knocking down and destroying everything. They set fire to the only place the girl had ever called home. The homeless people who were her family each fled to opposite sides, while others unfortunately did not escape the criminals' attacks. Terrified and desperate, the girl ran as fast as she could and ended up alone. She had been living on the streets of the big city of Los Angeles completely on her own for about a year now. 
and the likelihood of meeting her group members again was close to zero. Thalia didn't know what it was like to have a real family to celebrate Christmas with, but even in the midst of the hardship, her group of homeless people always tried to make Christmas Eve more enjoyable with what they had at their disposal. It was a simplified version of a Christmas dinner. That's why the little homeless girl crouched down next to those garbage cans full of food that for her was a feast and thought letting out a tear. You would have loved this, guys. Remembering her friends. But it was at that moment that the universe was going to change that girl's life. After finishing her meal, the girl picked up the wallet she had found a few minutes ago and whispered to herself, Maybe there's some money here that can help me for a few days. Hoping to find at least a little money to ensure her survival over the next few days. However, what she found inside that small object left her so paralyzed and made her doubt everything she believed possible. There was a photo. A photo of an elegantly dressed man in a suit next to an equally beautiful woman who appeared to be his wife. But what left Thalia absolutely perplexed, stunned, and terrified was the fact that she herself was in the photo, in the middle of the couple, smiling. What? How? How is that possible? mumbled the little girl, unable to understand how she could be in the photograph next to an apparently successful and very wealthy couple. Is that... is that me? The girl fell to her knees, her hands shaking, staring at herself in that photo. Nothing made sense. Are those... my parents? She asked herself, confused. Then why don't I remember them? She had so many questions, because at that moment, her world, her little world, had collapsed. Meanwhile, in the same area, almost next door, a family was getting ready to celebrate Christmas dinner. They were the Alistars, an extremely powerful family in the pharmaceutical business, owners of the renowned Alistar Pharmaceuticals. Aurelion Alistar was a millionaire businessman whose fortune was directly linked to the production of various medicines, including a well-known painkiller called Liana. The family consisted of the man, Camille, his wife, and Zoe, their 12-year-old daughter. They lived in a majestic mansion in that neighborhood and were about to enjoy Christmas dinner. And that celebration was eagerly awaited. The couple gazed in awe at the luxurious decorations the girl had prepared. It was the first time the three of them would be spending supper together, and the girl was determined to make it a very special moment. She had planned everything, from the organization to the decoration, and even the preparation of the banquet. Her parents were proud of her efforts. You've done an incredible job, honey, said her mother, delighted with Zoe's dedication. You've really outdone yourself, Zoe. You've taken after me, joked the millionaire. The girl was proud of her work, but there was a shadow of sadness in the air, a sadness that manifested itself every Christmas. There was a reason for this, a tragedy that had occurred 12 years earlier. Do you think she would have liked everything? The decorations, the banquet? Zoe asked with a regretful look on her face. Her parents approached her and hugged her, conveying their affection. Of course she would have loved it. You're her big sister, she would have loved everything, replied her father, his eyes watering as her mother dried the tears that were threatening to fall. But let's not be sad tonight on our family time. She wouldn't want that, added Camille. The three of them made their way to the table where the Christmas dinner was laid out. Music filled the air and the aroma of delicious food filled the house. Everything was perfect. This Christmas was eagerly awaited as it would be the first that the Alistar family would celebrate. That's because the date, despite being a festive and joyful day, was also a sad memory for them, because it was exactly on that day, on Christmas Eve, that a tragedy had deeply shaken them. When Aurelian and Camille were about to present their daughters to their family to celebrate the baby's first Christmas, their house was broken into, and something terrible happened. One of their little ones was kidnapped. The millionaire devoted all his resources and efforts to finding his missing little girl, but was unsuccessful. In the years that followed, Christmas became a painful reminder that his little Liana was no longer with them. The years of searching for his daughter became torture for Aurelian Alistar. No matter how much money he invested, nothing could replace the void left by her absence. Camille, his wife, was desperate and often begged him to find the baby. On numerous occasions, the millionaire would find himself looking thoughtfully at the only photo of his two little ones, Zoe and Liana. He wondered how his little girl was doing. Had she survived? Or was she in a better place, in heaven with God? The name of the painkiller Liana, produced by his pharmacists, 
was a tribute to his missing girl, although it carried a cruel irony. No painkiller could ease the pain that the loss of a daughter caused in a father's heart. Those responsible for breaking into the house and kidnapping the little girl were never identified or captured. Everything indicated that the crime was a message from a rival, an attempt to force Aurelian out of the pharmaceutical market. However, the businessman remained firm in his position, and it cost him his most precious possession. As the years went by, the hope that they would find Liana diminished. But Zoe, now 12, knew that something had to change. Her sister wouldn't want her family to suffer forever. So the girl persuaded her parents to prepare a supper in honor of her lost sister, arguing that she would be pleased to see that the family had moved on and was no longer drowning in sadness. I am sure she wouldn't want to see us sad forever. I'm sure she'd want us to be a normal family. The couple knew their daughter was right, so they allowed her to lead the preparations for Christmas. The girl was full of enthusiasm and saw that supper as an opportunity to honor her sister's memory. However, neither Zoe nor anyone else could have ever dreamed of what fate had in store for her and her family that Christmas Eve. The three members of the Alistar family were seated at the table, ready to start supper. The father, overcome with emotion, shared a few words of love and gratitude that they were finally celebrating as a family again. The mother also expressed her happiness that they were celebrating Christmas and not focusing on the tragedy that had haunted them for years. She was grateful for Zoe's presence and her daughter's efforts to make that night so special. But just as they were about to start supper, the doorbell rang, interrupting the happy mood. The little girl, surprised, said, Who could it be? I didn't invite anyone tonight. Aurelian stood up and replied, You can start. I'll be right back. The millionaire walked to the door, curious as to who could be out there so late at night almost midnight, and when he opened the door, his reaction was one of disbelief, and the world around him disappeared. Those brief seconds of immobility felt like an eternity. The rest of the house disappeared as he stared at the person in front of him. His wife's voice, shouting from inside, finally brought him back to reality. Love, love, who is it? Camille, seeing that the man wasn't answering, decided to go and check, only to be petrified when she saw the unexpected visitor. It was the little girl we talked about earlier. The little homeless girl, Thalia. The girl was shivering with cold, wrapped in her tattered blanket, holding the millionaire's wallet. She held out her hands and said, Good evening. Are you Aurelian Alistar? I found your wallet in the trash. I think you must have lost it accidentally, so I've come to give it back to you. Aurelian was stunned and couldn't find the words to reply. His wife, equally shocked, began to shed tears of emotion. The girl found his address on a card inside his wallet and decided to return it with everything inside. Cards, money, everything. But there was something she needed to ask. With her eyes sparkling at the sight of those two people in the photo, who she thought might be her parents, even though she was confused and hesitant, she said, And also, well, I just wanted to know about this photo. And showed the picture of the couple and herself. When he saw her, Aurelian burst into tears. The little girl didn't fully understand the situation, but suddenly Zoe, who was in the dining room and heard what was happening, ran to the door, worried. Daddy, is everything all right? But when she saw the homeless girl and the scene unfolding at the door, Zoe's eyes widened. The girl wasted no time in running over to Thalia and simply hugging her with all the strength and love she could muster at that moment. You're alive. I knew it. I always knew it, said the businessman's daughter, already letting the tears fall. After the initial shock, the homeless girl realized that the girl in front of her was her twin sister, and that's when she understood everything. It wasn't her in the photo. It was Zoe. Tears rolled from their eyes as their parents witnessed this emotional reunion. That... that's impossible. Thalia said as she hugged the sister from whom she had been separated all her life. No, it's not. You're the Christmas present I asked for. My sister, my soulmate. Zoe cried as she held her sister close. The parents soon joined in the hug, feeling the relief of finally having the daughter they had lost 12 years ago in their arms. Oh my God, oh my God, this is a miracle. Aurelian looked up at the starry sky with tears in his eyes. Thank you, thank you, God. Camille thanked him, still unable to believe it. They took Thalia inside. After all, they had a lot to talk about, and now they were reunited as a family. So to explain how it all happened, the reason for the twins' separation 
was that series of terrible events that happened when they were babies. At the time, Aurelian was at the height of his pharmaceutical company, developing an innovative painkiller that was about to become a global success. However, like every successful man, he also had enemies with their eyes wide open. A rival sent thugs to break into the Alistar home. The aim was to find the painkiller formula and then ask for millions in return for the formula. However, something went wrong that night. The criminals realized that the formula for the medicine was nowhere to be found in the mansion. So one of the men kidnapped one of the babies as collateral to get the money. However, the gang leader was furious about this and ordered him to get rid of the child. Afraid of being caught when the exchange was made, he abandoned the kidnapped girl in an alleyway. That's how Liana was found by the homeless people who took her in and looked after her. They also named her Thalia and were like an adoptive family to her. The Alistars suffered immensely as they searched for their baby. However, what they didn't know was that an oversight by the millionaire himself would end up leading them back to his daughter. The day before Christmas Eve, since Zoe had convinced her parents to celebrate the date together, the three of them decided to do something they rarely did. They went to the market to buy what they needed for the Christmas dinner. After buying all the necessary ingredients, they returned home. Aurelian, remembering his humble origins, dismissed his employees that night so they could celebrate with their families and took out the garbage himself. But while he was pouring the leftovers into the garbage can without realizing it, he dropped his wallet into it. Little did he know that that very night, that carelessness would confirm the miracle that the universe had already organized from the beginning. The little girl's reunion with her family was an indescribable joy. She was renamed Thalia Liana Alistar and finally felt part of a loving family. But the good changes didn't stop there. With the help of her father, he was very grateful that the homeless had raised his daughter with care and love. The girl founded an organization to help homeless people get back on their feet. The project was so successful that it really changed a lot of people. Thalia eventually found some of her old friends, the members of her group, and also helped them to improve their lives. After the reunion, the Alistar family was extremely happy and Christmas nights became a truly special celebration, where love and togetherness were celebrated in an unparalleled way. And so the story of the little street girl and the Christmas miracle that brought her back to where she belonged reinforces the belief that if you believe incredible things can happen on the most magical night of the year. If you liked the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss and see you in the next story.